Hey traders, welcome back to another daily recap. Today I was able to lock in $422 in profits. Just like yesterday, two of them were winning trades and one of them was a losing trade. Although yesterday I was able to lock in over $2,000 in profits, today I had a little bit of a bigger loser with UPST. Um, I lost $1,045 on that trade, but thankfully the other two trades that I placed were able to make up for that loss. And then I was still able to make over $400 in profit on top of that. So let's go ahead and break down these three trades. The first of them is going to be MVST. MVST was a very simple trade. This is a stock that had momentum over the past couple of days. Um, you know, we can see that it's clearly been in an uptrend. Their earnings report was released yesterday in after hours, and we can see that the trend continued after that earnings report. So that right away tells us that the market is reacting bullishly to uh, the earnings being released. So what I did with MVST was I was able to buy in here as it was breaking back above the VWAP after it had this morning dip. Now typically with this type of trade, um, I would have probably looked to buy into this pullback itself, maybe wait for some support to form down here in the 140s and then buy into that support level. Or I would have waited for it to come all the way back up above this opening range high to take advantage of the opening range breakout. But I kind of used my intuition a little bit here um, and I realized this stock was in an uptrend lately. It was breaking back above the VWAP. The morning dip was bought up very quickly. And I was pretty much just anticipating that it was going to break above this opening range high and push back up towards the pre-market highs. So in the Market Master Group, I posted, I took a starter position at the VWAP at 9.56 a.m. Um, and as we can see, it kind of took right off from that area and I was able to lock in profits very quickly up in the 180s following that trade. And the reason that I sold in the 180s um, even though it went up to over $2 per share so far, it's always a good idea to lock in some profits into pre-market highs or just below pre-market highs because a lot of times we'll see those levels reject, they'll become a level of resistance and the stock will come crashing back down. So I simply took my profits on that trade and moved on to the next one. With that being said, the next trade that we have on the list is STSS. Um, this was a nice winner for me today. I had a total of 4,800 shares. And it was a pretty simple trade setup. This was another opening range breakout. Um, back to the Market Master group here, I posted the opening range breakout levels like I do every single day. And STSS had an opening range breakout level of $1.22. Now because this was gapping up in pre-market, if it starts to break back up above that opening range, that is a bullish sign for a gap and go. And there's a good chance that you're able to scalp a nice trade on that breakout. So that's exactly what I did. I bought into that opening range breakout. Um, I didn't buy right away. I was a little bit late. I think my average was about 127. And what I was looking for was that this was going to push back up into this 150 area, which we can see back in pre-market. Um, there was a bit of resistance in that level. So that's what I was expecting. And I was going to look to take profits into that level. However, what we can see here is that on this first push after I bought, it didn't quite get up into that level. So I kind of missed my initial exit on this trade. And it pulled all the way back down to break even and actually turned this winning trade into a losing trade for a brief period of time. Now what's really important about this trade though, and the reason that I'm pretty happy with this trade is that I didn't panic sell into this pullback. I didn't take a loss or get out at break even. I had my initial stop loss placed down here below the opening range. If it fell down to that level, I would be comfortable taking a loss from the trade. That would be a sign that the momentum is now to the downside and there would really be no reason to be long at that point. You know, so instead of selling into this pullback here and taking a loss and panicking a little bit, I stuck to my initial plan and I was ready to have this come all the way back down to the lows if that's what the stock was going to do. Um, but instead, thankfully, the stock kind of bounced back up from that level and I was able to lock in profits up here in the high 140s, just like my original plan was. Okay, so that was a pretty simple straight to the point trade for the most part. Uh, moving on to UPST. UPST was the loser for me today. I lost a little over $1,000 on this trade. Um, I had 1,500 shares and my average cost was, I believe, about $1,890. Kind of very similar to the MVST trade, the one that I went over first in this video. I was seeing that the stock was bouncing back up. The morning dip was bought up very quickly. Um, I was seeing that it was starting to push back into VWAP and I was expecting it to come back up pretty quickly and break above this opening high, maybe push up towards $20.50. And I would have looked to lock in profits in that level. However, we can see obviously that it didn't happen. It kind of traded around VWAP here for a little bit. It had a quick false breakout above that opening range high and then it came crashing back down. I actually didn't sell all of my position at once here. 
I cut some of my losses into this initial pullback, and then I sold the rest of them as it was breaking down below this morning low. So even though the stock bounced back up and I'd be basically at break even on this trade, it's unfortunate to think about that, of course, but at the end of the day, risk management is rule number one, and there would have been a very good chance that this stock could have came crashing back down and faded down to $16 or even lower throughout the rest of the day. So it's very important when a stock is breaking down to stick to your plan, cut your losses when you need to, and just take the loss. So those are my three trades today. A little bit anticlimactic and not anything really to brag about, but um, you know, that's just how it goes as a day trader. Some days you're gonna have really great trades and everything is going to kind of work in your favor. And then there's other days where things are going to look like they're promising, but they don't end up working out and you end up taking a loss on some trades. Aside from those three trades, I am a little bit upset that I missed out on the UFAB trade. Um, we posted the opening range breakout at about 53 cents this morning, and we can see that it ran up to a high of 73 cents. Even though I posted the breakout level, this wasn't really at the top of my radar personally, so I kind of missed out on this trade. There was really solid potential there to make 20, 30, 40% on that trade. But yeah, like I said, overall, not too bad. Locked in another $400 in profits. And I think the key lesson from today is something that I already mentioned earlier in this video, and that is to stick to your plan. If I wouldn't have stuck to the plan with STSS, um, you know, I would have probably gotten out at break even or a small loss even as the stock turned back against me after this was a nice profitable trade. But I stuck to my plan. I didn't sell too quickly, and it ended up working out, and I was able to sell at my initial price target anyway. Same thing with UPST. Stuck to my plan, cut losses on the trade. And that's really all you can do if you're trying to keep your losses small and overall become a profitable and consistent day trader. So anyway, if you want to hear about my trades in real time and you want to trade with the group, as well as get my day trade swing trade alerts and my detailed trade plans, you can get started with the Market Master Group for free. That's going to be linked down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing these daily profit and loss videos every single day going over my trades. So you're not going to want to miss out on those, so make sure to subscribe so you're ready to go. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck with your trading.